वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन अकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस दी वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ रेसी प्रोकेटिंग एयर कंप्रेसर इट्स बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन टर्मिनोलॉजी एंड वेरियस एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रेसी प्रोकेटिंग एयर कंप्रेसर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एयर कंप्रेसर वॉट इज एयर कंप्रेसर एंड एयर कंप्रेसर इट इज अ डिवाइस और मशीन विच टेक्स द एयर एट अ लो प्रेशर एंड डिलीवर द एयर at high pressure by using some kinds of mechanism like as a, a reciprocating piston and cylinder or we can say rotary kind of motion it is called compressor in this video lecture we will discuss the working principle of reciprocating air compressor before starting of discussion of working principle of reciprocating air compressor we will discuss the basic term related with the air compressor the first term is free air what is free air so free air means uh, it is the atmospheric air which is uh, uh, available under atmospheric condition it is called free air the second one is inlet pressure what is inlet pressure so inlet pressure okay it is the absolute pressure of air at which the air will be enter okay in the compressor uh, from the uh, suction valve okay it is called inlet pressure inlet pressure means it is the absolute pressure of air at which okay it will enter into the cylinder the next one is discharge pressure discharge pressure means it is the absolute uh, desired pressure of air at which okay the air will be compress or the air will be deliver from the deliver, delivery valve uh, after compression process okay so at that time whatever the pressure will be there it is called discharge pressure so it is the absolute desired pressure of air at which okay the air will be discharged from the compressor after compression process the next one is compression ratio okay the compression ratio it is denoted by r okay r equal to p2 by p1 so compression ratio means it is the ratio of discharge pressure of air to the inlet pressure of air it is called compression ratio it is the ratio of discharge pressure of air to the inlet pressure of air of compressor it is called compression ratio and it is a unitless term because it is the ratio of pressure the next one is swept volume what is swept volume so swept volume okay the equation of the swept volume vs equal to pi by 4 b square l so swept volume means it is the volume of cylinder whenever the piston will travel from tdc tdc means top dead center for example here we are considering bdc bottom dead center top most position of the piston inside the cylinder it is called top dead center and bottom most position of the piston inside the cylinder it is called bottom dead center so whenever the piston will travel from one dead center to another dead center or we can say tdc to vdc so at that time it will travel stroke length l so it will travel stroke length l so at that time whatever the volume it will be cover by the piston inside the cylinder it is called swept volume and its equation is pi by 4 d square l it is the same equation of ic engine in ic engine we have already discussed swept volume okay whenever the piston will travel from one dead center to another dead center at that time whatever the volume it will be covered by the piston inside the cylinder it is called swept volume so we know that the area of the cylinder is pi by 4 d square and the height or we can say the traveling distance of piston from one dead center to another dead center it's l so pi by 4 d square it's area its unit is meter square and uh, its stroke length it is in meter so meter square into meter so it is in meter cube okay okay next one is capacity okay uh, capacity of compressor okay it is measured in meter cube per minute, minute. Okay it, okay it is the volume of compressed air delivered by the compressor okay it is measured in meter cube per minute it is called compressor capacity again i repeat what is capacity of compressor it is the volume of compressor 
डिलीवर बाय द कंप्रेसर एंड इट इज मेजर इन मीटर क्यूब पर मिनट इट इज कॉल्ड कंप्रेसर कैपेसिटी द नेक्स्ट वन इज वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एफिशिएंसी सो वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एफिशिएंसी इट इज द रेशियो ऑफ एक्चुअल वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर इट विल बी सक इनटू द सिलेंडर डिवाइड बाय स्वेप्ट वॉल्यूम okay we have already discussed what is swept volume whenever the piston will travel from one dead center to another dead center at that time whatever the volume it will be covered by the piston inside the cylinder okay and it is measured in pi by 4 d square l we have already discussed so volumetric efficiency means it is the ratio of actual volume of air it will enter into the cylinder and volume occupied by the piston whenever it will be travel okay from tdc to bdc so it is a swept volume it is called volumetric efficiency okay so these are the basic terminology okay it is related with the compressor now we will discuss the working principle of reciprocating air compressor okay here i already mentioned the name of for different components of reciprocating air compressor here you can see that this is a cylinder this is a piston and it is a reciprocating motion it is a crank and it is a uh, crank case this is a crank case this is a crank and this is a connecting rod because this connect the crank to the piston so it is called connecting rod connecting rod it will connect piston and crank so it is called connecting rod okay here the rotary motion it is converted into reciprocating motion because it is a input device okay this device it will run Uh, by using some prime mover okay for example nowadays in market okay compressor uh, it will uh, run with motor okay it will we can also run with ic engine okay and uh, uh, in uh, case of a ic engine okay exhaust driven supercharger is also available okay so some kind of energy is required okay or we can say some prime mover is required to operate this device because it is a input device so here the rotary motion so here the rotary motion it is converted into reciprocating motion okay here you can see that this is a delivery valve okay and this is a suction valve okay from suction valve air will suck at low pressure and at delivery valve air will be discharged to the delivery tank okay so now we will discuss the working principle of reciprocating air compressor okay, okay. this is called tdc tdc means top dead center top most position of the piston inside the cylinder and here we are considering bdc for example here we are considering reference line bottom dead center bottom most position of the piston inside the cylinder so whenever the piston will travel in downward direction from tdc to bdc so as we know that okay whenever the piston will travel from tdc to bdc so at that time inside the cylinder okay the area it will be increases and pressure it will be decreases so here the negative pressure will be generated whenever the piston will travel from tdc to bdc or we can say top dead center to bottom dead center okay so at that time this suction valve or we can say inlet valve it will open and it will allow the air into the cylinder because we know that energy is always flow from high grade to low grade so whenever the piston will travel from tdc to bdc so at that time the negative pressure will be generated and due, due to this negative pressure and outside the compressor okay the atmospheric air is available and it is in uh, positive pressure okay it is more than inside the cylinder pressure okay so it will suck into the cylinder from the suction valve okay so here you can see that this is the flow of air okay it will enter into the cylinder okay it is called suction stroke so in return stroke or we can say piston will travel from bdc to tdc so at that time what's happen this charge will be compressed okay so in this stroke the piston it will travel so in first stroke here you can see that piston is travel okay it is represented by dotted line okay this is the position of piston okay so in return stroke whenever the piston will travel from bdc to tdc so whatever the charge of air it will be suck 
into the cylinder during suction stroke it will be compressed okay because we know that air is a gas and it is compressible in nature so in co uh, compression stroke piston is travel from bdc to tdc so at that time this air will be compressed okay and uh, this pressure is sufficient to open this delivery valve and this air is delivered to the delivery tank and uh, from this delivery tank okay we can use uh, this uh, high pressure air in various applications like as in automobile in automobile uh, there are various application of compressor it is used in pneumatic braking system pneumatic suspension system okay uh, in case of a vcr system okay vapor compression refrigeration system okay we are also using compressor in our domestic refrigerator air conditioning system okay this is uh, one of the application of air compressor the another application of air compressor it is uh, also used in mining industry because in mining industry we are uh, using a uh, pneumatic drill okay because uh, in mining industry uh, there are various types of uh, explosive gases are there so at that time we cannot uh, use hydraulic system to operate the devices the air compressor is also used in uh, food processing uh, spraying of uh, insecticides construction of roads dams tunnels etc uh, we have already discussed operating of uh, pneumatic drills nuts hammers for the uh, formation of rivet heads uh, for operating pneumatic tools in mines okay for operating pneumatic drills to drill holes in rocks for operating blast furnaces used in uh, foundry for sand blasting okay for cleaning those parts of machines and automobile which are not easily accessible by hand okay this is one of the application of the compressor we have already discussed the compressor is used for spray painting uh, for driving compressed air motors okay it is uh, one of the application okay to uh, run the motor air motors operating air brakes used in buses trucks trains etc for operating gates of lift uh, for uh, filling air in automobile tires okay and uh, for operating water pumps and elevators so these are the various applications of the air compressor in next video lecture uh, we will discuss uh, the working principle of centrifugal air compressor so thank you friends for watching this video if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends